All right, so today I did some ribs, baby back ribs, this one. This one I think I used too much paper. I probably could have done a bit less, but at the time that I was wrapping, I didn't think nothing about it, so let's see what it looks like. bend it all right and this one is the same I cook these both the same except this one of course I wrap them up in full of paper all right so there's some meat separation from the bone right here you can already see that on the back side as well too and and oh yeah look at that so this one's just falling off the bone already a little taste test very good I am so These falling off the bone. Very, very tender. <clears throat> this one, let me see. Yeah, not so much. Not so much falling off the bone at all. Give it a quick taste. Yeah, definitely full of paper is the way to go with these. Got good bark, but not falling off the bone. Decent flavor, decent taste. Not a lot of smoke flavor. I've been wanting to do this taste test for a while. Well, not taste test, cooking. With this butcher paper. Now again, maybe I put too much paper. I couldn't get it all that butcher to come out. I don't know. I worked really good with my brisket last week. But today it's definitely not falling off the bone as full wrapped. So, full wrapped, if you want falling off the bone, I mean, that's the way to go. And I think it tastes, well, about the taste actually about the same. Not a lot of smoke flavor in it. Could be the smoke uh, pellets that I used today on my Camp Chef. But both of them do taste good. Not gonna complain. Uh, but full wrapped, retains a lot of the juices, retains a lot of the moisture. And it'll probably be the good way to go with the, if you want falling off the bone ribs. So there you go. Time to eat. There you guys.